everyone, Mr. Merkic here and today I've got part 7 on how to make a Discord chatbot and what I'm going to show you today is how to log all the messages which come to the bot whilst it's open. Uh, this was requested in the comments so thank you for requesting it and also if anyone else has any requests make sure to leave a comment as well. Um, so if you've been watching all of these videos you'll remember a few videos back I said about how you'd get in a cross thread error if you added to the list box. Well, I'm going to show you how to fix it because for the log um, we're going to need to use that. Um, so what we want to do first is with the help of Google this is where this function came from with a little bit of editing um, it enables us to invoke the list box and add stuff to it. So what we need to do first is say private delegate um, we'll call it uh, add log something like that and the parameter there will be line as a string and the line is the line which we'll be adding to the list box and we'll come down and we'll say private sub and we'll call it add a line and this will be add a line to the log and again this will be line as a string as a parameter for that one and inside here what we'll do is we'll say if we'll add it to our main list box uh, if listbox one uh, dot invoke required, then what we're going to do is we're going to say listbox one dot invoke, and then inside here, what we're going to use is new, and we're going to use the add log delegate which we made, and inside here we can say address address of uh, and our function add line. We need to come and add a comma and just put the parameter in, which is line, just like that. And then below here we'll say um, exit sub, I believe, just like that. And then underneath this end, this if statement, we can just say listbox one dot items dot add, and we'll add to it the line that which we give to it. And now well, we can call add line, and now it will add the line to our main uh, listbox without giving us any problems at all. So, a little bit confusing, but I'll leave that there for a second so if you want to pause it or something and copy that down. So, I'll save that. And now, what we want to do is go into our uh, on message function here. So, each time we receive a message, we don't even care about the command stuff, just when we receive a message. Um, it could be if you really want to log the bot's own messages, which we won't. Uh, we'll go in this this else here and we'll go after we get the message in the sender because these two are important so we'll come here and we'll type add um, add a line and then for the line we'll add um, we'll say the sender we'll add on uh, let's say said and we'll add on again message so the sender said message and that will add it to a log what you could also do is add the date, which I believe I showed you, possibly. Um, I think on load. Yeah, so you just want to, you could add date now if you really wanted to log the time a message was sent, in case you ever want to use the log for pr a bit of proof or anything like that. So uh, that's how you um, add stuff to it. It's not the actual log, but I'll load it up and show you um, that it adds to it. So if we go to Discord, and I'll just type, I'll, I'll open the tool so you can see it, and I'll say hi. You should see it says, it says in here now, Mr. Merkage said hi. It's a little bit broken. Um, what you can do to fix that, so if we go back into the code, all we need to do is add a little space there, and because we're getting the sender to a lower instead of using sender you could just use message.user.name we use sender for various checks so it could be better to use that and that will be a neater option for you um, now to actually log it what we'll do is we'll log it when the form is closing um, so we've already got disconnect from discord but we'll say um, we'll, we'll call it save log and we'll go ahead and make that. So if we go down to the bottom, we'll say public sub save log. 
And what we're going to do is literally write the contents of this list box to a text file, and then that's where your log will be. Um, so what we're going to do is we need to specify the file location. I'll call it dim file name, and what I'm going to do is save it to the uh, actually it'll be as a string, and I'm going to save it to the directories like this pro the folder whatever the exe was launched from directory so you can do that by saying my dot application dot info uh, dot directory path and we're going to add on a, a string and it will do a backslash and this is where you call it I'll call it log dot text you can call that whatever you want so our file is going to be called log dot text in the directory path now what we can do is say uh, the first thing is we'll check if the list box one dot items dot count is equal to zero because if it is we don't want to log we'll just ignore we'll say ignore but the thing is we've got a line added to it on the on the start so there should always be something there anyway but just to have it there um, and then what you want to do is check if the file actually exists because if it's the first time you've let's say you give the tool to someone or whatever and the file doesn't exist we'll make the program write it as well we'll just say if system dot io dot file dot exists uh, where is it what's happened there it exists and we want to check if the file name exists then if it does exist we'll do whatever we have to write to it and we'll say else and, and we'll create it here um, but first of all we'll we'll write to our usual one so we'll create a I guess a stream writer we'll call it writer as uh, io dot stream writer I believe it's going to be equal to a new io dot stream writer file name so it's going to allow writer is now going to allow us to write to our file uh, which we just get specified. But what we want to do now is create a for each loop to go through each line uh, in our list box. So what we'll do is we'll say for i is equal to zero to so list box one dot items dot count, and we're going to minus a one on there as well. And then what that's going to do is allow us to loop through every item in there and do something with it. So i is going to be the item. Um, so what we're going to do is we'll say writer dot right line we want to use right line so it will add like to each different line and then the, the, the thing we want to write is list box one dot item dot item and we'll add on an i so what that does is because this is looping through every item in there let's say there's a few lines um, it's going to grab uh, the i is telling it the location to grab so zero one two three and it will take that and each one will be added to the line individually and then we're going to come outside the for loop and just close the writer down so writer dot close just like that and now kind of similar for when the file doesn't exist except this time we want to say dim writer uh, as io dot stream writer is going to be equal to io dot file dot create text this time and we'll create the same file name as well so everything's the same just like that and now all we want to do is copy this code which we already have which we just made just the for loop and the close and just put it in there like that and that should be good so now what we can do is launch this uh, back up and we'll, we'll give it a shot and we'll see what it's like so we've we've already got a line there so let's just see if it saved that so when we close it it should automatically save it for us so if we go into the uh, project file if you're wondering how to get there um, well it will be wherever you have the exe but because I'm running it from the Visual Studio it's Visual Studio projects the project name which will be discord bot uh, you go into discord bot bin debug and you should see here this is the exe and you see it's made us a log.txt so if we open it up you can see one lines in here the line which is there by default so if I close that we'll launch the tool up one more 
but this time we'll actually go to Discord and do a bit of writing. Just like that. Now, you see the bot has said, I said testing. Now if I close that, go back to the log. You see now it's it's refreshed the log and said I said testing. Now what that's going to do is, it's not going to save what was previously there, I think. So each time the form closes, it will wipe this and then start again. So let's say you got a log in there and you don't want to lose it. Probably make a backup before saving the log again because it will wipe it. One other thing you can do is if you don't want to log certain things with the date in, let's say you just want to log all the messages. Um, because we, in our code, because uh, in the chat message we've got said in there, you could have an if check in the for loop saying if uh, list box whatever if this item here dot contains or something like that what you could do is you could check through and check if the item contains um, certain text like said then you can log that line instead so you don't have to log all the lines but yeah I didn't come prepared for that uh, but that's just an idea so that's how you would log messages to a text file uh, with the discord bot so I hope you did enjoy it if you did please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time